Welcome to Soaping 101. We recently attended a soap gathering where the Star Project included soap dough. Well, any soap can be used, as long as it's kept from drying out. I came up with one for you that is pliable, blends well, and hardens quickly. This recipe is listed in the description box below. When making your dough, be sure that your lye water and your oils are below 100 degrees Fahrenheit and bring it to a medium trace. I am splitting my batch into nine parts, Roy G. Biv plus black and white. This is the perfect size starter recipe. Once pigmented, I can pour the soap into small plastic containers with lids. This will keep the air out and the water in. After 24 hours, your soap will be fully saponified, but not cured. Now comes the fun part, sculpting your soap. My sister was in visiting with me and she took over with the molding. I'm sure I could not have done such a pretty job. So let's make a dragonfly. Spooning out the dough is probably the easiest way to get it out of the container.
When you knead the dough, feel it for the consistency and work out any lumps. This recipe is formulated to be smooth and lump free. Use a muslin bag with cornstarch to dust out your work surface by bumping out some, just the way your grandma taught you. You can also add cornstarch to your hands into the surface if the dough feels really sticky to aid in rolling. This soap can be reworked repeatedly without getting dried out too quickly. We're going to be treating the dough like polymer clay and making a stack to take cross sections for wings. Place a ball of dough on plastic wrap. Fold over to sandwich the dough inside. We'll be rolling this thin and this is the best way to get your desired thickness without the dough sticking to the work surface. You could also use a rolling pin, but we used a mug. Carefully peel back the plastic wrap and examine the thickness based on your project needs. Repeat for all of your colors. We're making a dragonfly, so we need the white to be consistently thin, maybe even thinner than the other pieces, as it will be used for the base of the wings. Cut your white dough into four pieces, and then cut your colors into strips. And then cut the strips into squares or rectangles, any size or shape you like. Put water on your fingertip and smooth it onto the piece of white. This will help your soap dough adhere to each other. Put down cornstarch on your mat to keep the stacked pieces from sticking to the work surface as you layer and press together. Use a skewer or a toothpick to pick up small pieces and apply on top of the white piece. Place in a grid pattern with white space in between. Press down each piece to adhere. Smooth the top with a little bit more water, and then layer another piece, and adhere it to the soap dough below. 
apply pressure so that you can feel that the raised pieces in the white layers are adhering together. Repeat the process two more times, applying pressure to get rid of any air pockets. Here we are using a razor blade to cut the stack in half, revealing cross sections of the layers. Cut slivers of the stack to make your wings. Choose a color for your dragonfly's body, and this can be a piece of dough that you've rolled out previously. Work it into a ball, and then snake-shaped by rolling it on the mat. Try to think about the body shape of a dragonfly. It's long and tapered. and then look at the body against the top of your soap. The lure of the dragonfly is that they're iridescent, so you can knead two colors together to get that iridescent quality. Dragonflies have three body parts. Use water to attach the body pieces together. And then some more water to attach the body to the soap.
reshape your wings, and then use a little bit of water to attach all of them to the body of your dragonfly. And don't forget the eyes. Use the back of a skewer to make two small indents for the sockets. To make our dragonfly glow even more, we're using a little bit of Enigma Mica from Nurture Soap Supply. We have pre-moistened our dragonfly with 99% rubbing alcohol, and then we'll just dust on the mica. If you want to view some other beautiful soap dough creations, be sure to take a look at Sorcery Soap. The link's in the description below. And here's our finished dragonfly. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all next time.